Okay, so let's talk to Chloe. Bottles. There. Thanks, Max. Wait, one more for the road. Oh, okay, so she's adding a sixth one. You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. Oh, are we going now? Okay, I thought she was gonna try and shoot every bottle. Show me the way, Max. Right. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so <laughs> fucking cool! Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? I don't You're know. You're on target. Pull the trigger. Up. Where do I aim? That was a weird sound. Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Excuse me. Give me some shoot, Max. Let's see you take a crack I hope at that rusty barrel. That doesn't explode. Sorry, at Mr. All. Barrel, your time has come. Listen to those fat bullet beats. Why do I rewind? Give me something to shoot, Max. Aim at that old blue plank here. I hate old planks. Yawn. Do I rewind again? Give me something to shoot, Max. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Hella yes! Okay. Nice shooting, Tex. Now Apparently that's that... what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never. So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Put a real dent in that front bumper. Goodbye, Ooh. cruel bumper. Jesus, oh no. I shot myself! Ugh, I shot myself! Back up, back Stupid up! Gun. Hold on, Chloe. Rewind. This is why I don't even bother touching guns. Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Gas tank, oh my god. Well, Max? No, 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 not that. Try the windshield. It's just gonna I go through, see that I think. Windshield go down. Watch out for flying glass! You guys better run for cover! Yet the bottle remains. Oh, well, I gotta go back, really? Huh. Maybe the wheel. Dude, I need a target before I shoot. How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Okay. <laughs> Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. I wonder why the sound is glitching a cap. like that. Uh oh. I don't know. She's not feeling well. Max, your nose. Damn. I think when she I abuses it, it doesn't. Feel so super. Max! Uh oh, she's going into the storm again. Oh, jeez. Well, that's not good.
You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Oh, Are we're gonna fire our gun now. Oh, boo-hoo. Max is afraid. I know you can handle this. And I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Uh-oh. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. <sighs> We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? So this is the guy uh, she owes. You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend. And it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and Rachel's I... bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Point the gun at him. Seriously. Please. Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Don't shoot. Come on, girly. Shoot me. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. Maybe I should have shot him. You really stood your ground. I freaked. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. Okay, good. And there are more guns out there. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. Yeah, At least sure Frank didn't. is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Oh, man. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. He may have taken the gun because of us. Wow, but... sir. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. Wait, where, where'd she go? Oh, she's over there. Uh-oh. Oh, don't tell me this is part of the cutscene we saw before. With the train tracks. Waiting to go for a walk. We both need a time out from here. Yeah, he may have gotten her gun, but at the same time, I mean, if we shot him, we would have just gotten in more trouble. I can't believe you basically gave him my gun. Here you go, Frank. You can't keep getting mad at me, especially for stupid shit. I'm not mad. It adds up in my mind as people letting me down. And I just liked having that gun, man. Maybe it's good you don't have it. Now you have me to protect you. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? Exactly. It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. <sighs> Excuse me. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. 
At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, are you for reals? Frank just took your gun and threatened us. He's armed and clearly dangerous. Yep. Max, oh, God, excuse me. crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, there are a lot of birds exactly there. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers. Obviously don't get my pot from you, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out? You don't mean you... Ah, oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. <laughs> he never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Yeah. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Ah, so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens. And it's tweens. like no time has passed. It's a word. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Why? I bet she would hate me. You're not that different. She had... Has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool Ooh. as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at night. Look at the beat poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. It's going... So Something's got to happen at this point, right? Perfect. Uh-oh. How is she stuck? Oh, her boot's stuck. The train. Oh shit. Oh no. I don't want to die here. Look. Max, you can't just yank Chloe out like a superhero. Move. What do I do? Box. Awesome, it's not locked. Please get me out of here. What do I do? I better find a tool to cut those wires. Max! I can't even move it an inch. Where is the tool for this? Went the wrong way, god damn it. Max, get me out of here. Shit, I can't budget at all. Uh oh, here it comes. I had to rewind, I can't even watch this. Give me time. Where, where's the tool for it, though? The train's coming! Max, please! Oh god, this is so intense. Max, get me out of here! I don't know what to do. Oh, here it is. 
definitely need this bad boy. There's only one way around this. Wow, that was right there. Please get me out of here! I can definitely use this bad boy. Run, 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 run. Go down the frickin' pathway. Crowbar for the door. Rewind, rewind, rewind. Okay. Now we need to find this tool. I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay, open. Pliers. But which wire to cut? Go with yellow. Whoa, short circuit city. Rewind, I guess. But which wire to cut? Try red. Hurry! Now that's the right cable. Oh, 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 oh. Pull. Yes! I did it! Jesus, that was close. You okay? You saved me again. Crazy. Man, even I was scared there. Holy life. shit. Damn. That was close. Yeah, Aren't I already you said glad that. I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Oh, that's cute. Or... Sweet, whatever. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to say there. Now it's raining. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? Uh, it means shit happens, right? No, <laughs> crazy shit happens. Because it can. And will. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again.
now it. Enter the Vortex Club this October. How about no? I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. End of the world party, oh god. So are you going to that vortex? Uh there's looks like there's quite a bit to read again. Uh Okay, next. Just when I thought shit couldn't get crazier, Chloe took me to her secret lair. The city dump. Perfect for Halloween. Like where the vehicle and appliance ghosts of Arcadia Bay come to rot and rust. Urban dystopia porn. Okay. Um, but instead of taking cool photos, Chloe had me do some silly kind of fun gun tricks. Until the guy Chloe owes money to showed up. Some skeevy? I've never heard of that word before. Some skeevy guy called Frank. He demanded Chloe pay him back, or else. I was shocked that he wasn't the lone shark I had expected, but I could literally feel his bad vibe. I still can't see how my best friend ended up involved with a loser like Frank. Things got truly crazy when Frank took Chloe's gun, or should I say David's gun, and now we, we have to worry about one more lunatic after Chloe, and maybe, Chloe really... Oh, and maybe me, that's what it said. Um, Chloe really flipped out when she saw that Frank was wearing one of Rachel Amber's bracelets. That means we definitely have another suspect. This is so not how I intended to spend my time back in Arcadia Bay. Oh, uh, there's still quite a bit to read. After all that drama-rama... <laughs> volume... XXX3... Is that... 33? Is that 33? I, I think. I don't know. Chloe and I ended up taking a walk along the tracks deep in the woods. We both needed to hear... We both needed to hear nothing but the sounds of nature and wildlife. I was shaking inside from our encounter with Frank, and though Chloe fronts tough, yeah, I could tell she was shaken too. She told me everything about Frank, which explains why she was trying to blackmail Nathan. It shocks me that the girl I grew up with, watching Spongebob, ended up in such a scary orbit. Still, I feel safer with her at my side, and I was I was glad we had a moment of peace. So it probably wasn't the best idea to lay down on the tracks and wax about life, etc., as Chloe's leg got caught in the rail just as the goddamn train showed up. Of course, I was off trying to take a photo from my portfolio. Excuse me. And then I had another quick flash of my tornado vision. I could see it, almost feel it, tearing the sky apart. My head felt like it was exploding, like in that 80s film Scanners. Just as fast as the vision came in, it disappeared. I may be in denial about what this apocalyptic image means, or doesn't. Then I heard Chloe screaming for help, and I was... I was shitting kittens. <laughs> I was shitting kittens. That should be my, uh... One of the things that I say, because my name's Bearded Kitty, so... <laughs> I was shitting kittens. Her foot was stuck in the damn rail, and naturally the train was coming round the mountain. I was pretty proud of myself for coming up with a drastic, if not destructive, solution to saving Chloe once again, but just in case this journal ever falls into the wrong hands. It's going to remain our BFF secret, so there. Our morning adventure over oh, our morning adventure over, Chloe dropped me off back at the campus at my campus. She was so sweet and said that this had been the best week of her life despite everything. That made me feel so awesome. Chloe really sees us like we're talking. Taking? Yeah. Chloe really sees us like we're taking over the world. But what if I hadn't had been able to use my rewind power to get her off the tracks? Chloe might have to lower her expectations, and so will I. And we have Frank. And it looks like that's... It's all filled out. Now, I, I'm hoping we don't get any more people. I'll never forget Frank, if only because he's the first and last person I will ever aim a gun at. How did Chloe end up in this sketchy drug dealer's orbit? The weird thing is that when I first saw him threatening Chloe in the junkyard, I was more shocked how uncreepy he looked. 
I expected some try-hard gangster, but he looked more like a dumpster-diving troll. Which I guess he... He kinda is since we were on his turf, testing out my rewind skills for Chloe's amusement. Though he didn't look like a serial killer. His vibe, aura, energy, whatever. Whatever, Eva, whatever. That's what she put. I just... Okay. Was bad. I could literally feel the hair on my arms prickling. She wanted the money Chloe owed him, so it didn't make sense. So it didn't make sense he would hurt her, but I wasn't going to take a chance. So yes, I actually threatened him with David's gun. Ridiculous. Unfortunately, none of us ended up in... Fortun fortunately, none of us ended up like reservoir dogs, and I saw that maybe Frank isn't as scary as I thought. But I don't want Chloe near him ever again, since he was wearing one of Rachel Amber's bracelets for WTF reasons. I doubt Chloe will be partying with him anymore, but he's at the top of our suspect list now. So now what do we do? And there's David. Speak. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? Uh... You hit Chloe. I'm sure she told you why. Did she mention she probably stole one of my guns? You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Okay. <laughs> And I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. What you listening to? Eh? How did you just... Okay. He went through different things on his phone without even touching it. Luke is always using the phone as a shield to avoid people. I like those tunes though. Makes me think of Monster Cat. Doo -doo. Anyways, um, didn't we get a text or something? No? I thought we got a text. I saw Victoria and her friends shopping for the party. That reminds me. Oh, my God.